Well, first, I think we do face a serious possibility of a second recession. Um, and we certainly will see continued high unemployment for the next five years, I think. But the country is, is, is in a grave problem because we've used a lot of our stimulus tools and they have not succeeded. States and localities face these real budget constraints and will face them into the future. Well, it continually beats down people's expectations of being treated well, of getting wage increases. You have more and more, for instance, students who are just ecstatic to get away a pay of zero if they'll just get a job. And it's legal if they're called interns, not employees. Each state has its own collective bargaining laws for the, for the state and municipal employees. And the attacks have been to restrict collective bargaining so that the workers cannot bargain over anything, to remove the rights of the unions, uh, to have a secure position at the workplace where they deduct dues, say, from people's paychecks. And in one case, to uh, ask the workers to every year to vote whether they want the union to represent them again. In the more conservative states, you can be harsher. In the more liberal states, you're pushing this legislation, it would be less. And what we have seen is in the collective bargaining states, the states where people do bargain, they've negotiated wage freezes and they've negotiated uh, workers paying for more of their pensions, the employer contribution down, more of their health care, the employer contribution down, because the states uh, have real budget constraints and jobs will get lost unless they can lower costs. So this is a case where the unions have been extremely uh, sensitive to the concerns of the employers. There's a lot the White House could do, but the president uh, likes to play the middleman in no matter what the dispute is. Um, so it's very hard. He spoke a little bit about this attack on collective bargaining as not being a good thing, but he certainly never campaigns sharply against uh, his enemies or the enemies of working people or so on. It's always, let's sit and compromise. And oh, you want to, you, know, you, you want to reduce everybody's wages to zero? Well, gee, how about half zero? Well, half zero actually is zero, but ha halfway between zero and whatever you're getting paid. So un unless he girds himself up because of the presidential campaign coming, uh, he, he, do he just does not play much of a role in leading a fight. Well, if your choice is that the ordinary people really can't pay too much increased taxes because they're, they haven't had a rate, real wage increase for 30 years, the real wages have been stagnant for the average worker, and the rich have had huge increases in their wealth. I mean, the inequality has just been you know, rising by leaps and bounds. You might say, well, it's either they pay some more in taxes or, well, we could stop providing public education, or we could start firing the police, or, or, or et cetera. I mean, it's, it's at that level of, of choice the country will have to, to face. Yes, inequality of the states is at third world level. This is the big shocking thing, is the U.S. inequality would put it about in the most, among the most unequal countries in Africa. Uh, we would be in the bottom half. Uh, so it is, it just stands off the map to the inequalities in other advanced countries. Um, and this has concerned people. Warren Buffett has spoken, including the rich. They speak against it. But the prevailing ethos is clearly that the wealthy will keep going unless there's a strong you know, opposition to them.
well, I think we're going to try to do the muddling through for a period. I mean, this president clearly is a is you know a compromise, and let's try to all be reasonable people sitting here, and we'll only fire some of the police, and we'll only reduce some of the schools. We have had serious reductions in school in the length of time of schools, uh, and we will have to have another crisis before I think the people will say, wait a second, this is not the way to run a uh, you know a great economy or a great uh, country, but for the moment, it's uh, it, it doesn't look very very pleasant. I think.